First thing we're going to do is take one of our five gallon buckets. Now we got one of these from Ralph's. Uh, these are the buckets they use for uh, uh, the icing they put on from the bakery. So you can pick them up there for free. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure you clean them out and give them a good old scrub down before you use them because there's a lot of sugar in there and we don't want to get that into our system. So once you've cleaned it all out and it's nice and clean, you need to fill it up with water. So now what we've done is we've filled it up with regular tap water from the faucet in my kitchen and it's uh, there's no special treatment on my water. We don't have an RO system or any sort of filtration. This is straight city water. Now what I did, I used this uh, one gallon milk container which I cleaned out and I've used that to measure out four gallons. Now it's quite important we get the levels when you're mixing your nutrient solution so keep that uh, milk container for later. So now we have our bucket of water filled up what we need to do is dechlorinate it. Now most city water has chlorine added and that is um, to help kill certain bacteria and keep the water clean. Unfortunately in hydroponics with our exposed roots it's a very sensitive ecosystem and the chlorine can actually uh, retard the growth of your seedlings. So we're going to get that chlorine out and it's very easy to do. There's two ways you can do it. First of all, you can just put it to one side and let it sit there. Um, the chlorine will evaporate over the course of 24 hours. So it's a case of just thinking ahead, filling up your water the day before you want to start, leaving it somewhere um, cool and dark and just let it evaporate. Another way you can do it is uh, to accelerate the process is to use a, an air pump and an air stern. These are a typical ones you can get from your pet supply store and there is uh, links on our shopping list for these. The air stern, what we'll do, will uh, pump air into these stones and bubble up the water. This will agitate the water causing the chlorine to evaporate much quicker. So by using the air pump you'll be done in more or less an hour. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to test the water. One of the things about local city water here in my area is it's quite alkaline. So we're going to run some tests now to show that and uh, we're going to stabilize that pH. Now the pH of the water is quite important so we need to test to make sure that we don't get any nutrient lockout. Now there's a couple of ways we can do that. We can use the uh, pH test solution that you got with the General Hydroponics starter pack or what I like to use is a pH electronic pH tester and the reason I like this is it's a little more expensive but you get to use it a lot quicker it gives you quicker faster results so it's very simple to use you basically literally just turn the thing on and you'll see on there there is an indicator and it tells you what the uh, pH level is and you put it in the water so we'll put it in the water give it a little stir around here and we'll see what the current situation is with the water right now. So as you can see uh, the pH of the water here right now is 7.1. Now the ideal level we are looking for is 6.5, 5.5 to 6.5. If it's in that range it's great for growing salad greens. Now we've talked about nutrient lockout in the presentation and you can review the information on the, on the DVD to get more information about what nutrient lockout is. Okay, so 7.2 is quite high, so we need to change the uh, alkalinity of the water and drop it a little. So we need to add a little acid. So let's do that. Okay, now our water, as you can see by our test strip, 7.2 is quite alkaline. And we need to make it a little bit more acidic. Now there's a couple of ways we can achieve this. Um, General Hydroponics offer these products called pH up and pH down and basically it does basically what it says pH down makes uh, the water a little more acidic and pH up um, adds more base which is more alkaline now um, you can purchase these through General Hydroponics but there is a cheaper solution and I found an easier way of doing it what I like to use is a lemon and a lemon you know quite easy to get hold of in California citrus is pretty cheap now one lemon is just about enough to drop the acidity of uh, four to five gallons 
of water. So adding this uh, lemon will use the citric acid to actually stabilize our solution. So let's do that. So quite simply what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my lemon in half and squeeze it into the water. Try not to get any of the, uh, the seeds in there or the pulp. Um, if you can do it through some cheesecloth that'll be be great. So that's one half and we'll let the other half. Okay. So what we need to do now is uh, give that a little stir with a wooden spoon and let it sit for 60 seconds. We'll come back and we'll retest the water. So now we've let the water sit for a little while. Um, I'm going to retest the water. Let's see what we get here. So now, as you can see, our test meter is showing 6.0, which is right in the middle between 5.5 .5 and 6.5. And that's just the way I like it for the city water over here. So now our water is what we call pH balanced. Okay. Excellent.